Welcome to the VIP Masterclass Series. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is dedicated to Jeffrey, a longtime member of the series. So thanks for your support, Jeffrey. And I think he has some great questions that can really benefit everybody in the group. So uh, he says, hi, Josh, great videos as always, and loving the VIP series. I actually have three questions that do not require music, just your perspective. Question one, this is a follow-up to your video on the sight reading video on YouTube promoting Piano Marvel. How do you suggest students to assess if they are ready to play a certain piece? Perhaps I misunderstood misunderstood you in the Piano Marvel video, but I got the impression that one should focus on playing pieces they can sight read. So, sorry if that that is a misunderstanding. My That's my fault. Um, I was talking about... Uh, sight reading as a chunk of your regimen. So I don't think that you should only play pieces that you can sight read. I think that most studies would be effectively um, divided up into three plus one optional category that I also find very helpful. So technique, sight reading, repertoire is what I do with most of my students. And then an additional one is a theory uh, study. I think you can really benefit from that. I actually do that. Um, I private teach one of the members of this group and we actually meet twice a week, one one theory lesson a week and one um, uh, like repertoire uh, technique, sight reading lesson a week. And it's really helpful to have that extra time with the sight reading. So uh, this within the sight reading, I think that you should only be playing pieces that you can play pretty darn well by five times through. So that's always my assessment if it's like a sight reading appropriate level uh, is can I play this within five tries? And I'm not talking the whole piece. I'm talking a section, maybe one line. If you are really struggling after five times, it's too hard. And the reason I say five times is if you're only ever reading something once, yes, that is the true spirit of sight reading, but you're never gonna gain much confidence. I mean, you will over a long period of time, but if you do five times in a row, sight reading something, you gain confidence. You're like, okay, now I'm making these connections. How can I do this faster next time? And so my wife and I argue about that sometimes. She's like, it's not really sight reading if you're doing it more than once. And I'm like, yes, but it's impractical to only look at (laughs) something one time ever. So we disagree on that, but that's my own personal preference. So uh, to know if you're ready for a piece, I think a good indication, again, it depends on how long the piece is, but if you can tackle and learn all the notes within three months um, and play it smoothly, slowly within three months, I think that's okay. Really, ideally, you'd wanna be able to learn and have all the notes good and smooth within a month. Um, but I understand like if you're doing a huge concerto, maybe it's six months. And if you're doing a two-page piece, maybe you cut that down to two weeks to a month and say maximum time uh, that I wanna be learning the notes is two weeks to a month on this one or two page piece. So depends on the length of the piece, but that's how I like to go about it. I like to give myself a time frame and say, if I simply, I'm just like completely floundering <laughs> with this piece after three months of study and I still have no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna abandon it. And you'll get to a level where that doesn't happen. I, I feel like I'm at that level now where within three months I can learn at least a movement of a concerto, if not the entire three movements. Um, you ask about the hard, one of the hardest concertos later on in here, so maybe that would be an exception, but here we go. Question two, what are the pieces you think every student should consider learning, why, and about what stage of their piano studies? For example, many pianists from Beethoven to Oscar Peterson had their students learn Beethoven's Well-Tempered Clavier. Since most of us do not have the time or inclination to learn all 24 preludes and fugues, what would you suggest with Bach and beyond? Uh, so it depends on the level of your study, but I'm going to talk about like standardized repertoire. Thank you so much for watching. I've listed two links in the description below. One of them is to download this full video that you've just watched the sample for. The other is to view the entire library of VIP Masterclass series videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.